This video is on how to use the order by statement in SQL. So we'll you be using the Northwinds database, so we'll get into that first. Let's go over a little refresher of how select statements work. So a select statement uh, always returns a table. And a good way to think of the select statement is that you are declaring what you'd like that table to look like with your select statement. So in this case, I in the select clause, I'm saying product name, product ID, and supplier ID should be the columns in that order. And I would only like to see the rows where the unit price is greater than 10. Now, I haven't specified yet what order those rows should appear back in. They appear like they're somewhat coming back in alphabetic order, um, but is that really the case? So how would I order the rows or do I need to order the rows? Is there a default ordering? So let's check that out. If I just select the product name, it appears that it's coming back in a in alphabetic order. If I select the product name and the product ID, of course this returns all of the same records. Right? Again, they appear in alphabetic order by product name. But let's go back to this one and notice I'm highlighting only the select and from, so I won't be executing the where clause. And this will give me all of the records. But notice now they're not coming back in product name order, they're coming back in product ID order, or they appear to be. So even though it's all the same records, the database engine has returned these records back in different orders based on different queries. The upshot here is that the database engine will return records in the most convenient order for itself. It will not spend extra time trying to order the rows by assuming what you'd like the row ordering to be. So it, it's uh, got other things to do and it's trying to execute just what you ask and no more and then get on to its next, ta next task. So if you want to have an ordering, how do you do it? So here's a simple order by clause in the select statement. Again, I'm selecting the product name, only records where the unit price is greater than 10, and I'm ensuring that they come back in product name order by specifying the order by clause. Order by clause always comes last, and in this case, I've specified a sort key as the product name, and then specified that that sort key should be used in an ascending manner. In other words, from smallest to largest, uh, and in this case, because product name is character-based, uh, the ascending is based on alphabetic ordering. All right, so what if I want them in the opposite order? I'm going to use the same sort key, but specify DESC, short for descending, and these records will come back in a descending in reverse order. Now, by default, if you don't, if you just specify a sort key and do not specify ascending or descending, it's assumed that ascending is the default. So that when I execute this and I execute this, they are equivalent even though I don't have the ASC in this statement. So here's another example using numeric data, uh, the unit price. And notice here that I am getting the most expensive items at the top and the least expensive items at the bottom. Notice from this statement that the unit price is the second column. So there's, there's no need for the sort key to be the first column in the select clause. As a matter of fact, the order by can be completely independent of the other clauses in the statement. So here we have an example of product name and unit price are in the select statement. A different field, reorder level, is the basis of the where clause in which records are being shown and that the sorting is based on the product ID which doesn't appear in the select or the where. 
So these are, are independent clauses that can use different fields. Now this is a little disconcerting to users. If, if a user looks at the results here in this table, they might say, well, there's no ordering to these records. Uh, when in fact they're ordered by product ID, they're ordered very consistently. It's just very difficult to know what that ordering is. So it's more typical to order by the first column of the result set. So in this case, I have product ID, product name, and unit price, and I'm ordering the, the rows based on the first column. And now it's very apparent to a user how these records are ordered. In this case, this is a unique ordering. Product ID is the primary key, so I don't need to additionally add any other pieces. But uh, it's very common to first uh, have the first column be the first sort key, and the second column be the second sort key, and the third column be the third sort key. Now it's also possible to use multiple sort keys. And in this case, I'm sorting first by the supplier ID, and then in cases where there's a tie or I have multiple products with the same supplier ID, then I will sort within that group of records by the product ID. So let me scroll down past these nulls. And here we have two records, Chang and Aniseed Syrup, products that are both supplied by the same supplier. So they're next to each other, but within that group of two records, they are ordered by the product ID. Let's look at supplier ID 2. Here we have five records all from the same supplier. And within that set, they are ordered by the product ID. And then, of course, when I go to the next supplier, then I jump back down to a lesser value in the product ID. And within this group of supplier ID 3, they are ordered by the product ID. Now, how are nulls handled then? We saw that they came back at the top when I was sorting by the supplier ID ascending. So it's fairly clear that nulls, at least in this case, are considered to be less than numbers. And let's just make sure of that by sorting, doing the same query, but just sorting descending. And I would ex expect the supplier IDs that are null to be at the bottom of the list now. And there they are. So nulls are considered to be smaller than numbers. And also, they are also considered to be smaller than character data. So what are some best practices? For embedded systems, for, for SQL that you're going to enter into a system, you should always include an order by. The logic is that consumers of, that, of the results begin to assume an ordering and may actually depend on it for accurate processing. So if you don't provide one, and then at some point in the future the order of the records changes, then you could create errors or crash a system. Uh, furthermore, it's best to have a unique ordering. So again, downstream systems may assume that the ordering is unique and thus base their processing on the assumption that it's unique. So here's an example. Here's a non-unique ordering. Uh, it appears unique, but there I have an example of two different records that are uh, the same name. So in order to make sure that they always appear in the same order, I would add the primary key. And in this case, I'm, I'm sure that the cookie, this top cookie, is the one with the lesser product ID. So that's all about the order by.